While Liverpool have made a couple of signings this summer, poor old Kloppo has had a tough time chasing his major targets, unlike his title rivals. But fear not Liverpool fans, there is still plenty of time for him to get a bit of business done and we're going to take a look at five players who might yet be walking out at Anfield come the start of the season. We'll start with a name that's been flying around like an elastic band in a school classroom for months, Leipzig's Naby Keita. Liverpool have shown that they're willing to write a fat cheque to get their hands on the young Guinean with two transfer bids that would have both smashed the club's record fee, 56 and 66 million pounds. Now, Leipzig are obviously pretty keen to hold on to Keita as they rejected both of those bids, but Keita is said to be equally keen to leave. He's got a year left on his contract, but the Reds will have to fight off competition from PSG and Inter next summer, so Liverpool will be doing their best to get a signature as soon as possible. That would no doubt please the Copites, who are all going mad for Keita at the moment, despite the fact that they never heard of him 10 minutes ago. Staying in Germany now and staying in central midfield, we've been hearing that Klopp is keen to once again raid his old rivals in Gelsenkirchen. Schalke's Leon Goretzka has been linked with Liverpool. Goretzka has had a cracking season despite his club performing disappointingly and failing to qualify for any European competition. He showed German coach Joachim Löw what he can do at the Confederations Cup in June, but he'll need to keep it up throughout next season if he wants to make it to the crowded World Cup squad for 2018. Liverpool can offer him Champions League football and a chance to shine alongside Germany teammate Emre Can in the centre of midfield. Despite being just 22 years old, Goretzka has already made 118 appearances for Schalke and at just 20 million quid, he's a bargain in today's crazy marketplace. He's been linked to Bayern for a long time though, so the Reds are up against stiff competition for his signature. Now, the transfer scoop of the summer is definitely the indefinitely indecisive Neymar's big money move to PSG. If and when he goes, it will be a footballing earthquake that makes itself felt all over the world. And the aftershocks could rob Liverpool of their star midfielder, Philip Coutinho. Barcelona will be left needing a new Neymar, and they've had their sights set on one Brazilian scouser for quite some time. Now, losing Coutinho would be a defeat for Liverpool, and Klopp's doing his best to keep him in place. He's refused a £72 million bid and come out to say that Coutinho is definitely not for sale. Still, the chance to go to Barca is something that few players would turn down and given that Coutinho is under contract until 2022, selling him could earn Liverpool an absolute packet. If he goes, the Reds need a replacement. They might find one just by following Coutinho to the Catalan club. Barcelona's Rafinha, who has struggled to establish himself as a permanent fixture at the Nou Camp, is reportedly looking to leave. With a World Cup on the horizon, Rafinha wants playing time to make sure he secures a place in Brazil's squad. He's fast, strong and a dangerous dribbler with an eye for goal. While Coutinho's shoes are big ones to fill, a talent like Rafinha could make himself at home on Merseyside. Klopp knows his brother very well. Bayern's Thiago has caused his old club Dortmund plenty of trouble since signing in 2013 and with a part exchange swap deal involving Coutinho and Rafinha potentially on the cards, now might be the time to strike. Rafinha is not the only one who might pick up where Coutinho left off. Down in Monaco, the poor old French champions have spent the summer watching Premier League clubs dive at their title winning squad like a Brighton Seagull going after a portion of chips. Now, Liverpool have just become the newest club to join the chase for their 21-year-old winger, Thomas Lamar. Arsenal are in for him, and few are the young Frenchmen who can resist Arsene Wenger's advances, but Liverpool can offer something Arsenal can't next year, Champions League football. Lemar made it to the semi-final last season with Monaco. It's easy to imagine he's developed a taste for playing at the highest level. With Klopp having had a frustrating summer so far on the transfer market, landing Lemar would be a major coup. 
Finally, a second player who the Reds have been at pains to get their hands on for a long time. Now, Liverpool used to strut around Southampton, taking as they saw fit, clearing the shelves like a contestant on supermarket sweep. Recently, though, they've had a bit more trouble getting their hands on Virgil van Dijk, with the Saints putting up something more of a fight. But the day is not yet done. Central defence is an area in which Klopp really needs to strengthen. Lovren and Matip did their best at the back last season, but a title-winning partnership needs fewer injuries and inconsistencies. We think Matip and Van Dijk at the back would give the Reds the safety and stability that they've long been lacking. Klopp has been taking plenty of flack for not adding enough to the squad, and a centre-back is an essential buy. Whether or not he lands Van Dijk will be a big test of the manager's mettle. He's got the board's backing to splash a club record fee, and given that the Dutchman is kicking up a stink in Southampton because he's got his heart set on Anfield, Klopp has got to make sure he doesn't let this one slip. Right, there we are then. Liverpool fans, who do you hope you still sign this summer? Do you think Klopp's done enough? And how do you see your chances next year? As always, do let us know and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where we understand. Um, okay.